Welcome back. Country singer L. King lost about half of her body weight in two years. She went from about 284 pounds down to about 140. This is what she looks like. A little after and before action for you. And what she said is it doesn't happen overnight. It didn't even happen in a year for me. In fact, it's an ongoing, still working towards ever-changing goals kind of thing. She also went on to say that my brain functions better on the days I move my body. I'm going to break down what she said in interviews, some things about exercise and mood, and what it can mean for you, why you might want to start moving your body more too. Welcome. My name is Reggie. I'm the founder of Fit for Freelance, where I build adaptive business leaders through compassionate health coaching. And these celebrity weight loss stories are so fascinating because they're hot news, popular searches, and then some of your favorite people tell you what they did to have the transformations that you want. So I like to break those down for you in a guilt-free way so you understand how to use confidence, realistic focus, and accountability to make that happen. I have links below. I can help you build that with a guilt-free game plan as well. All right, so in September 2021, Elle gave birth to her son, Lucky Levi, and she said in an interview, didn't even realize how intense postpartum depression is and was very, wasn't was until I very slowly began to crawl out. I felt trapped in my body. I couldn't even sing. Harvard Health article linked below says exercise is as effective as antidepressants in some cases. It's an interesting article. It goes on to say, in people who are depressed, neuroscientists have noticed that the hippocampus in the brain, the region that helps regulate mood, is smaller. Exercise supports nerve cell growth in the hippocampus, improving nerve cell connections, which helps relieve depression. That's what Dr. Miller said in that article. Click like if that's something you're into, exercising, potentially reducing symptoms of anxiety and in this article, depression. All right. So... Elle says, she started small. I did light cardio to warm up my body, my lungs, my voice, and my spirit before starting to feel my body being stronger. And she also said, if you don't have a personal trainer, be your own champion. That's something I always encourage people to do. You don't have to work with a coach or anyone. You can just find ways to make active activity more fun and enjoyable. So she says, find music you like, ride a bike, go for a swim. I thought I wanted to lose weight, but it's so much more. And that's a big point that I talk about, letting your health support your life. A lot of times people think it's about weight loss, but it's really about having more energy for the things that you love to do. If it's singing, if it's exercising, if it is spending time with the people you love, maybe you have young kids, all that stuff um, is better when you exercise. So that's what she was talking about. Some days I count stretch marks. Some days I hug myself and say, thank you to my body. Today is a kind day. I've been tiny. I've been huge, but right now I'm healthy. And it's about the celebration of health and your body and all the things your body gets you through on a day-to-day -day basis versus just trying to lose weight with some all or nothing diet that gets you stuck and makes you hate your life, you know, find ways to make it sustainable for you. And you can have huge changes like L did. If you're ready to take confident ownership of your own path to premium fitness, take the health habits challenge that's linked below. That's got seven tips, seven little habits that you can try to infuse into your day to make healthy eating and living easier from meal prepping to planning your days to getting active, drinking more water. Those little things that you don't really consider can make a huge impact on your health outcome. I really want you to think about what she said. She said, my brain functions better on days I move my body. That's how I started Fit for Freelance is noticing worksite wellness opportunities for remote workers, people who work online, you're focus and you're tuned in, but you don't consider how your health is affecting your performance, your mental clarity, your focus, um, the errors you're making, your boundaries, the quality time you're spending. You want to make sure you're taking time for your health and your business goals. So your health supports your business goals and you lead the healthy, fulfilling life of your dreams. All right. Self-care increases your capacity for work and impact. That's what I like to emphasize is, you know, if you are only at 70% capacity because you are not sleeping enough, you're not eating healthy, you are losing confidence because you're gaining weight and you don't know what you're doing, um, all that's going to decrease your capacity for work. So even if you're going at like your top performance at 70% of like what you could be doing if you were managing your health and feeling properly energized, then you're harming your impact. You're not able to spend the time you want with people that need you to do your best, even if that's your business. So Click like, subscribe to my channel if you want more content like that. I have a celebrity weight loss playlist. You can watch all about it. And then next, you can watch a video, Why Self-Care Makes You a Better Entrepreneur. 
That's today's message. Keep practicing. Peace.